Hello, BookTube. This is a quick update video just to apprise the small number of you who follow me on Twitter of the current situation over there. I want to make it absolutely clear uh, on this video just where things stand. Uh, my account on Twitter, the one that I have linked on God knows how many hundreds of videos, I'm going to try, it's, it's a, a reflex now, but I'm going to try to stop adding that link. That account has been hijacked. And so has my backup account. So if you see anything purporting to be me on Twitter, it isn't me. Uh, that's going to become a little bit difficult at times. And those, those fake posts, everything that is on Twitter now from this point on that purports to be me is fake. Uh, but it's going to be harder and harder to, to call it fake because, of course, the, the person or the bot farm that hijacked my account has access to everything that's in it. They have access to all the pictures that are in it. It's going to look like me, but it's not. I'm no longer on Twitter. Uh, when my main account was hijacked, I went to Twitter to try to get it resolved. Of course, I, of course I did. I didn't want to give all that up, even though I haven't been enjoying the site since a Marvel supervillain took it over on a stoner whim and turned it into a turd-flinging contest. I haven't, I haven't really been enjoying it, but I'd made a lot of contacts through Twitter, I'd actually had a lot of fun and learned a lot. I didn't, I didn't want to just summarily easily give it up. So I went to Twitter to, to their automated, you know, are you having a problem? Do you have a problem to relate type system? That system is not only automated, but it's also completely circular. Like the most satanic of the old call parks you would get for businesses, where no matter what you did, no matter what option you chose, you were routed back to another option, but never to a person. Uh, and this was the same thing. Uh, it's almost comical. I'm sure that in a year when this is all the ancient history for me, I will just laugh at it. But the, the, the automated response from Twitter when I said that my account had been hijacked was to ask me for the password to my account. But of course, the person or the persons or the bot farm that had hijacked the account and immediately renamed it and immediately changed the password. I, of course, don't know the password. I don't know the email that's associated with the with the, the account anymore. All I can do is tell Twitter all of the original sign-in details for that account. And um, not any of the new accounts. So, <laughs> so I wasn't able to answer that question. And around and around we went. Uh, so as far as I know, that, that process is not resolvable. The, this is just a victory for the forces of evil, for, for, bad, for the bad guys. Someone or something hijacked my account and now has control of it and everything that's in it. And I don't ever get to get back and take it down or delete it or see it again. Uh, of course, I'm not happy about that. Not at all. And I was complaining about this to my three young tech guys. I have three young tech guys who've done miracles for me in the past. And one of them, the most gung-ho of them, uh, said, no, we can certainly find out a lot more than you can. I can certainly figure out what's going on here. At the very least, to find out who did this, where they're from, where they're operating from, at the very least to find out that, but probably to find out a lot more. He's he's a wizard. And I thought about it, you know, because, of course, there's a part of me that, that feels, I won't say viol violated is too dramatic a term, but there's a part of me that feels very, very irritated by this, especially on the, the chance that it is an individual person. Maybe even an individual person who has watched one of these videos and seen me disrespect their deity and just thought it would be fun to do this or a minor, a minor note of malice to do this or whatnot. Of course, there's a part of me that wanted to say to my young friend, you know, you should do that. Go get to the bottom of this since Twitter isn't helping me and isn't, isn't made to help anymore. Of course, the Marvel supervillain who bought the, the whole site on a stoner in joke fired most of the staff that would have dealt with problems like this. There's only about 10 people that work there. Uh, it only takes about a staff of 10 people to lose $30 million a year. Uh, of, of course, I would like to know why this happened. But it seems to... I, I eventually told him, don't bother. I, I Just just don't bother. I, I haven't been enjoying the site anyway. I was using it mainly as a springboard to to let publishers know that I'd run a review of a book of theirs or to let 
publicists know that or to let readers, you, anyone who was following that Twitter account know that a new review had gone up. I have plenty of other venues to do that, including contacting the publishers and the publicists directly. Uh, so I will just do that from now on. And I will explore doing that sort of review pumping on other sites. I'm not on Facebook. Uh, and I've never tried to do it on Instagram. Uh, or here, for that matter. Uh, I appear to be on Reddit, but, uh, but the Reddit account also seems to be locked and also seems to be not me. So I don't know. I don't know about that. I can figure that out down the line. It, with Twitter, I should have seen it coming a year ago. In fact, all of us should. Uh, that this was just going to be an incredibly soiling, compromised, security insecure site. I saw that when I was on there. I saw, you know, I'm, I've got two feeds now, following and for you. Neither one is accurate. Neither one is updated. Neither one is current, and neither one is particularly enjoyable. This I'm getting huge amounts of negative stuff shoveled at me that was filtered out before. It was present on the site, but it was filtered out before. I'm getting huge amounts of bot activity that I never got before, not in that much amount. So for a while now, for months now, I've been thinking, I've been, first of all, I've been on Twitter less, and I've also been thinking, eh, why be on here at all? Is, are you really getting that much worth out of letting publishers know that you've, that you've reviewed their book? Uh, and it's moot anyway. I, I, I had been mentally distancing myself from the site anyway, but now it's moot anyway because my account is completely locked and so is my backup account. And that the only alternative that that would leave me would be something that would be in 2024 an act of sheer insanity. And that would be to create a new account on the site known as X that's run by a Marvel supervillain. That would be sheer insanity, and so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I want to I want to just make a, an announcement video, just a, a heads up video, to let you know. I'm going to try uh, not to post uh, that Twitter link in the info block on my videos. I'm going to try not to do that. Of course, that Twitter link is still there, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. And I'm sorry about that. I don't know of any way to just go through and delete all of those without going through video by video. And I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I wanted to I wanted to take this this video to stress that I am not on Twitter. So any activity by anyone claiming to be me on Twitter under any kind of uh, login, under any kind of profile name, and also using any kind of mini, of media, pictures, anything like that, anything that you see that purports to be me on Twitter is not me. Uh, just wanted to let you know that I I don't see any way to get around Twitter's crappy customer service or issue resolution. They want information that has been scrubbed from the site by the people who hijacked it. That's insane. And they must know that's insane. They must have at least someone still on the staff who can say, well, the person who's whose account was hijacked is not going to know the password, that, the new password that the hijackers are using. <laughs> They're not going to know that. So we got to give them a way to get their account back, even though they don't know that. <laughs> So, apparently no one has done that or maybe maybe it's down in the fine print I've been through this this rigmarole for a couple of hours now without any result at all except to just get me back where I started so that that's my announcement here is that I am not on Twitter I probably shouldn't have been on Twitter to start with there's certainly a case for that for years I have noticed that the handful of people half dozen people who's judgments I most respect, even if I don't agree with them, whose judgments I most respect, that handful of people to an individual are not on Twitter and never have been. So so I should have paid attention earlier, but you should pay attention now. If I don't know how many of you follow me on Twitter. I have no idea. But I'm not there anymore. I'm not on Twitter anymore. Of course, it pains me to think what this hijacker will be able to do to an account with my name on it. But it obviously doesn't pain Twitter. Uh, so, I, I'm not there, and strong, strong indication that maybe you shouldn't be there either. Because if it happened to me, it can happen to anybody. Uh, but anyway, uh, just a, just an update for you, just a heads up to let you know that I have dropped a social media. <laughs> so, so, I'll wrap this up for now, and I will see you soon. Thank you, BookTube.